Hey, in this video, we're going to discuss the effects of inflation on real estate. As we all know, during the pandemic, there was a lot of money that was infused into the economy through PPP, through EIDL loans. And then not only that, the government under Trump's administration was able to pump unemployment benefits for literally every single person that was unemployed. Granted, we all needed it because of the state of the economy. Uh, a lot of businesses weren't in operations. A lot of businesses couldn't open. So it was, it was good to do that. Now on the flip side of that, we do have an inflation, which is the result of all this money that was infused into the economy. Um, we have higher prices across the board. So in response to this inflation, the government has decided to increase interest rates to decrease or try to tamper off high inflation. So in this video, we're gonna discuss the effects of inflation on real estate to see if it's a positive or negative. So tune in. What's going on? This is Namaya Jeffrey. Welcome to my show. So in today's episode, we're gonna discuss the effects of inflation on real estate. If this is your first time here, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button to get more content just like this. That's right, weekly videos coming at you for sure, high quality content. So in this show, I like to infuse data into everything that I everything that I do. So therefore, people can make informed decisions about what they are considering to do, and they'll at least know with this data what not to do. So let's get right to it. Look, the effects of inflation on real estate is a thing where the cause of it, like I said before, came from these PPP loans, EIDL loans, all these grants and benefits, and then also the unemployment benefits that the Trump administration gave out to millions of people in America. Now, we have to look at how this affects real estate. So now, since interest rates are at an all-time high because the Fed made the decision to increase interest rates to decrease inflation. So what does this mean for real estate? Well, is it a good time to buy more real estate? Is it a good time to sell real estate? Is it a good time to continuously develop more real estate? Well, there are a whole host of things that you have to consider here. Right now, let's say if you want to buy a piece of property, you would need to apply for a mortgage. The interest rates now are, last I checked, was 8%, 9%. Now, if you can't afford to make the monthly payments that includes the principal and interest, it may not be a good time for you to buy a home. Also, also across the board, banks are offering fewer loan options for individuals because they don't wanna get stuck holding a bag for people that cannot or maybe will not be able to afford those principal and interest payments after the loan is given to them. Another thing is that Across the board, the cost of building supplies and material have gone through the roof uh, because of inflation. So if you're a new developer and you are looking to develop a new house from scratch, it may not be wise to make that investment. It may be wise to wait until inflation goes down with these higher interest rates because of the high cost of material. Another aspect of the economy is that we have uh, traveling. The traveling expense, the, the, the traveling expense, is the one of the first expenses that people cut from their budget when inflation increases. Another thing is, if you have a vacation home or if you're looking to go into a vacation business, it may not be good to do that because people aren't traveling to go to vacation homes at the moment. So now you're going to have an empty house where nobody will come there because they're not interested in vacation that much. Now, on the flip side of this, if you are a real estate investor and you're thinking, man, should I buy a multi-unit property, a single family home, or invest in the commercial real estate? Well, the answer is yes. And the reason why is because you still have a strong demand of people who want to rent. The reason why you have such strong demand of people that want to rent is because interest rates are so high, which discourages investors from buying homes. So it forces these people to be renters. Now you have this pool of renters that's looking to rent out apartments because they're not ready or can't afford to buy. Now, with that being said, you also have the pandemic 
that has affected our whole economy. You have more people now working at home than before the pandemic. Now, because people have decided to work at home because their job allows them to make the same amount of money that they were making to work at home, then they're going to work at home. Now, if you have a job that forces you to not work at home, if you have to be there to make something, or if you're like in the the, the t-shirt business and you have to actually create that t-shirt and go to the manufacturer or the production place, then there's no way you can work at home. You have to work at that place. But since the economy has shifted, you do see more people, a lot more people working from home than actually going into the office. Now, that you have all these renters that are looking to rent out a place, the, the rental market now is going to increase in value because the demand of homes to rent or apartments to rent is going to be higher. So it means that if you're an investor looking to buy a single family home or a multi-unit property, then it's good to invest in those types of units, not only because of the spillover of the rental market, but because like I just said, you have more people from the pandemic that is working from home now. And that most likely is gonna be that way for the foreseeable future. I personally don't think that it's gonna change. I mean, I think that it may shift. I mean, you do hear some companies saying that they're gonna require more of their workers to work in the office versus their home, but I don't think so. So I think that when you think about inflation and the way it affects real estate, I think yes, property prices will decrease or normalize, but I do think as a real estate investor, if you're looking to buy a single family home or a multi-unit home, then it's a great investment to get into. But if you're looking to build a new home or if you're looking to if you're looking to build a new home, it may not be a good investment because supplies and material are so expensive at the moment because of inflation. Now, if you're a developer, and I think the best thing to do is to wait until these interest rates affect inflation and decrease the materials and supply prices. And then when they go down, then you can start to invest uh, because we don't know how high inflation is going to go. I mean, people think that uh, we're at a point now where inflation isn't going to go much higher because of these interest rates, but you never know. Not only that, if you're if you're a developer, interest rates are high. So I mean that the cost of money to borrow is higher. So it still may not be good to take out a loan to buy a new development alongside these high construction prices. So I think if I were you, I would either switch strategies, focus on multi-unit, or just pause on developing new projects. So my synopsis is uh, go out there and continue investing in real estate. Multi-unit properties, go out there and attack it full force. Until the next video, peace and love.